What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcut. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're gonna... What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. So, another great episode this Sunday to cover tricks, tips, and things that will hopefully enhance your relationship, make your relationship better, Maybe ignite those flames that have been diminished through time, or maybe make your future relationship that you're not in the best one you've had yet. So uh, every week we come up with some good topics or some good things to talk about that will hopefully help you guys out. Um, you guys can institute and use, utilize these things to maybe make things better. So this one's pretty important here, right? I think this is for everything. But this goes back to like the, the 1880s. Yeah, you know, this is <laughs> especially for relationships, right? And anything that you do. Actions speak louder than words. Mm. It's a true statement. It true. really is. Very and uh, it can be used in any relationship or anything that you do. Uh, meaning that don't just say it, do it. Um, and a lot of people will have these different issues in relationships. Um, examples, right? Uh, hey, honey, um, don't leave the toilet seat up. Right? I'm just going off the head. I don't know why I said that. But, John I doesn't never do. ever do that. Yeah. I never do. I always put it down. So random. I, I get to my guy friends. Oh, honey, don't worry. I'll never do it again. Don't worry about it. And it, 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 it's just in one ear and out the other, right? It keeps getting left up. So at that point, like, they're not doing any actions to really help that problem. Um, they're just saying it and they're not doing it. So that's another big one, right? Or, honey, I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to... Go to Maybe every yoga like, class. Not even like doing something even. It doesn't even have to be like an actual action, right? It could be, let's just say that you say that, and this is a big one, right? You say that I love you, right? I love you. I care about you. Yeah. I want anything in the world for you, right? But when it comes to, you know, picking something that would be, let's say, more selfish or less selfish, right? Because you're thinking about your significant other because you love them so much, right? Mm -hmm. Or let's just say, um, you know, if you want to show your love and appreciation by making them feel special and doing something that you normally don't do, right? Let's say just getting them unexpected flowers, right? Or bringing them unexpected lunch at, at, at their job, right? Or maybe just something that's unexpected to show them, you're showing them, right? That you love and appreciate them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, 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 it's it. Actions do speak louder than words. You could talk all day. Yeah. You know, and this goes, you know, not just in relationships. This goes at work. Yeah. It goes back and forth. It goes friends. You, you can put it in the kids. Yeah. So <laughs> the you, whole night. Here's a good one for work, right? So when we're trying to hire people, you ask them questions. Like, oh, my gosh. Um, you know, are, are you organized? Oh, here are we go. you a go getter? You know, this, you that. I'm a go getter. I, I do everything. I'm the most organized person I'm you've so ever organized. met. I, I can't, I'm I'm my closet looks so good. It's OCD. Yeah, I, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that. But when they get on the job, then it reflects. Because their actions are not going along with what their words said. Right. And you're like, well, your actions are speaking louder than your words because you said you were doing this, you're going to do this, do this, this, this. And you really don't do any of that. Um, so it's just a big one out there. Like, you know, it's like under promise and over deliver. Yeah. That's another big one out there. So at that point, like don't promise the world and only deliver half the world, promise half the world and deliver the whole world. Yes. Right. Um, that's where really, you know, people get more excited about these things and people, they'll look at you different over time. So if you keep saying, well, you build a rapport, right. If you keep telling them you're going to do something, do something, do something and your actions don't reflect then every time that you don't follow through with that action, it kind of lessens your credibility, right? Every mm -hmm. time they're going to be like, well, are you, are you really, really going to do, do it? it? Yeah, are you really <laughs> going to do it or are you just saying you're going to do it? Right. Um, you yeah, have that a lot too. You know, it's, uh, it's obviously following through with your word as well. Um, you know, saying you're going to do something, following through with your word and then doing the action that you're going to say you're going to do. It happens a lot in a lot of different relationships. 
Um, you know, even we were talking about financials a couple episodes ago, and mm-hmm. people say, "Oh, I'm going to be better financially. We're going to save. We're going to do this. We're going to do that." Yet they Keeps go out and they on. keep buying stuff. The actions do not reflect actions what their speak words louder are. Than words. Yeah. You know, so it, it's 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 a tough one. Or or let's just let's go down. You know, of course, I have to be the like the worst case scenario. I do this every <laughs> time, right? John, uh, Jimmy, and John always be talking, and then you know the worst case scenario comes out of my mouth, and he's like, "What do you think? Where do you come up with this stuff?" But like, okay, let's just say, right, honey, I love you so much. Da da da. Then you find out they're cheating on you, right? Ooh. Right. I know this is this is happens every day now. Right. You find out they're cheating on you. So obviously, I mean, I don't care if you love me or not. I mean, if you respected me enough, you wouldn't cheat on me. Right. Mm -hmm. So let's just say you guys mend it. Right. And everything Mm -hmm. you mend it somehow get past it. I love you, honey. I love you, honey. I'm never going to do it again. Boom, boom, boom. Let's say fast forward even a year, two years. Boom. Cheats again. Actions speak louder than words. Now, obviously, I mean, we have a problem here, right? So it's the same exact scenario. I mean, your actions are going to speak louder than words, regardless of what you say. Then you're going to be talking on deaf ears. You are. You're going to talk on deaf ears. They're not going to listen to what you're saying. They have, you're not going to be able to get through to people because you're not coming through with what you say you're coming through with, or you're not really meaning what you're saying. You're just saying it. Yeah. That's a big one. It really is a big one out there. And, um, you know, Actions can be a lot of different things, right? That could be you listening to your partner. Yeah. Right? You never listen to me, right? And you actively listen to them. And your actions are, they can see you and listening to them pretty much. I mean, people really know if you're listening to them most of the time or not. You're, you know, your attention is towards them. You're looking at them. You know, eye, eye contact, contact is another big one. Um, you're not interrupting them. You're letting them talk and, 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 and get off their chest, whatever it needs to be. And you're listening and, and taking that, right? That's a big one out there that a lot of people um, don't fall through with action-wise. They're not listening to their partner. And then that will cause a whole bunch of other problems down the line too. Oh, for sure. Because you're not listening to them. And then if they tell you over and over and over and you don't get it, then they're going to be like, you're not listening to me. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Yep. You know, and this is an action right there. That's one right off the bat. That's another, like, it's a big one in a lot of relationships out there. For sure. It's a listening faction. Um, you know, basically, like, uh, respecting their opinion. So whatever their opinion is, right? We all know what opinions are, right? Yeah. And so, you know, <laughs> they can have their opinion. You can have your opinion. But this goes back to you taking action and really taking their opinion in. And seeing if you could work or compromise on different things. Don't slaughter their opinion. Don't slaughter their opinion, right? Or they're never going to want to talk to you at that point. Uh, right. Or you're be like, you just don't listen to me. Um, you just hear what I have to say and that's it. You know, I mean, that's that's another big one out there. This is communication. Again, we're going to bring it up again, right? It always you, goes back to that root word. The root word of communication. communication. We should probably just have like a banner in the background yeah. that says communication. Maybe yeah. art can create that for yeah. us. Um, but... You know, I really think it's communicating because even if you have an opinion, right? Because sometimes me and John, we do think very much alike. It's crazy. Yeah. However, we sometimes we we have our separate opinions and we, we just have to agree to disagree. That happens very rarely. But every once in a blue moon, it's like we're going to agree to disagree. Right. I respect your opinion. You respect my opinion. And here's where we're at. That's right. She but at least my opinion is always right. And that's the way it is. Right. He is right all the time. <laughs> See, you see how that works? And now we're, we're all good. Yeah. We're not fighting about it because you just go along with it. Now, did did I really mean what I say? Who knows? You know what I mean? <laughs> we'll see if her actions reflect and just keep agreeing with me. Oh, yeah, I mean, He's a, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that can make things a lot more smoother, right? Yeah. Um, but, no. <laughs> you know, another one is, like, you know, if you're like, I just want to be happy. And you're like, I'm going to make you happy. And then you don't do anything to change how the current situation is. Like, nothing, right? You're like, well, you, you told me you're going to make me happy, but you're still sitting on the couch. You're not taking me any places. You're not listening to my opinions or what issues or problems I'm having. You know, this is another form of just action not taking place. And, you know, at that point, it's just, you know, people, I, I don't know if they just don't want to change or they just don't think it's like, like, or I maybe they, maybe they don't care enough to change yeah. or to put forth the effort because it does take effort. It does take and effort. And when you know effort takes time, and you know it just 
everything, it just kind of chain effects from there. So it's mm-hmm. like you do have to put forth an effort. You might actually have to come up with a thought process to actually do something to make your significant other happy. Yeah. But this is where it comes to, you know, if you love them enough, you'll listen to what they're saying. Listen, process it, and then do something about it. Do something about it. Action. Sure, 100%. You know, those actions, you know, they're going to take a little bit of effort. You know, um, what you know, and a, good, a really good one is, is that, you know, if you, because this is very common, actually. If you are saying that you're not spending enough quality time with me, right? Mm-hmm. Right? No quality time. We never, we never get to hang out alone anymore. We don't ever get to do anything. And you don't do anything to show that you are realizing that you are not having this time. There's no private dinners that you guys are going to go to. There's no movie. There's no nothing you guys are doing together. But yet your significant other keeps telling you, I don't have any time with you alone. Mm-hmm. You know, and you don't, you're not changing that. That's a really mm-hmm. common one that mm-hmm. I think... I've had even my girlfriends or even guy friends bring that up where we don't have any alone time anymore. And, you know, I mentioned it and nothing ever changes. It's just the same every single time. Eventually it gets old. Mm-hmm. And you know what? If you're the, the opposite side of the partner, right, and you're asking for these things and your partner is, keeps promising but has no action that they've done and you're getting frustrated, the best thing you could possibly do is talk to them one more time. And then, right, Slap him. Oh. I'm kidding. Well, that might wake him up. But after Way that, up. Like, you know, you got to put a, a plan in play of how you're going to resolve this issue. And that's really, what are we going to do? And really sit down with them. If you really care that much and you really want it to work and you want them to follow through with action, set a plan in place for an action plan. I love action plans. He does. Um, and action plans will <laughs> set out and basically say, hey, what's step one, what's step two, what's step three. If you guys got to lay it out like that, that might be a learning thing. And some people might need that. And if you really care and you really want it, then you guys will help and you guys will come together and do that. And then you got to hit those goals, those benchmarks. And if they don't change at that point, after you've already laid it out. got to move on. Then you got to look at other things that you're going to do. got to move on. It obviously is not going to work. And then you're just going to be... Uh, you know, being insane. It's the definition of insanity. You're going to be doing the exact same thing over and over and over. And expecting and expe- a different result. That's right. And there's not going to be a different <laughs> result. So you're driving yourself insane. And nobody wants to be insane. You right? know, listen, honestly, you could be like me. I'm very straightforward. So when I want something, I tell John, like, hey, listen, the other day I was like, we never get to go to the movies anymore. I want to go to the movies. Okay, fine. Let's go. You know, it's, it's sometimes it could be, if you believe it or not, it can actually be as simple as that. If you want something, just ask. Sometimes you'd be surprised. You might just get it like this. That's right. You know, a lot of you guys might even want one of these. You know, I, I've, I've seen this on 90 day that well, everybody wants one on 90 day, right? They're trying to come over. <laughs> <laughs> I love that show. But, um, you know, maybe you want to be proposed to, right? Yeah. Say it. Like yeah. if you sometimes in plain English, if you just say it, Sometimes they just, they get it. Sometimes you don't, you you know, a lot of times you'll just beat around the bush and be like, well, you know, we don't spend time together. Uh, You know, we've been together a long time. But like, okay, well, here's a box of chocolates. You know, like, no, it's not, not, I didn't want a box of chocolates. I wanted a diamond. You know, this this is what I wanted. So I'm using this as an example because you might really want something and you keep beating around the bush and beating around the bush and beating around the bush. I'm a very straightforward person. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. It is what it is. But at least I'm very straightforward with him. And if I want something, I'm like, hey, this is what I want. Can we make it happen? Please. <laughs> so, to some degree. I mean, it's just a little breakdown for you guys. And yeah. it's, it's a really easy and simple thing to accomplish. Um, do what you say you're going to do. Yeah. Follow Create through. Create action and follow through with whatever you say you're going to do. So don't let words overpower your actions let actions overpower your words don't just talk about it be about it right yeah. under promise over deliver <laughs> in anything you do and you'll always come out on top how many guys. quotes can we pull from this episode this is a good one a ton. A ton. <laughs> that's right those are good ones too. yes that's we're right. clipping this we're that's putting right. this on all social media platforms I might make big banners and put them through the uh, titan offices <laughs> That's what it's all about. And that can happen in business too, right? It happens you all the time. You say you're going to complete a task. You don't do it. I'm going to do better tomorrow. I you promise. Know. I'm going to pick up the phone by the first ring. Yeah, you don't do you're it. You're just not, still not picking up the phone by the first ring. Action you just keep looking at the phone when it rings. I want to do so good at my job, but I don't do what I'm supposed to do at my job. Please give me a raise. What is this? <laughs> 
Come on, guys. Be better. Do better. All right? Yeah, and you'll get better. That's right. That's that's a beautiful thing right there. So, guys, this is another Cupid's Corner from me and Cherise. We're here for you guys every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC. If you guys don't DVR it or you missed it, don't worry. We got you guys. Go to YouTube. Check out Tight Medical Center. Hit the subscribe button and all notification bell. You can watch all our episodes. Plus, if you guys don't want to see us, but you guys want to listen to us, maybe you're driving, maybe you're working out, go to wherever podcasts are available. You can download our podcast too as well. You guys will be able to listen to us on the road, training, whatever it is. Also, our social medias, Facebook, Instagram, you guys are going to love some of the content on there, I promise you. So go check that out. Hit the subscribe button or the follow button or the like button on all those different social media platforms so you can be in tune to what's going on with us, Cupid's Corner, and all of Tight Medical Center. So I appreciate it. I'm John. I'm Cherise. We'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner. See ya. Bye, guys. Bye.